Bill Morty. Classic Promotions presents a feudal classic scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds for the World Boxing Council Super Bantamweight Championship of the World between, from the blue corner, scaling eight stone, 10 pounds, wearing green trunks with gold band and pipings, from Marrickville, Sydney, Australia. <laughs> Former national amateur, flyweight title holder, captain of Australia's boxing team to the Los Angeles Olympic Games, unconquered in 15 professional bouts, 12 victories, Inside the allotted span, newly crowned national featherweight king, vacated International Boxing Federation bantamweight champion of the world, obsessively accelerating towards fisty immortality, magnetic masterpiece, challenger Jeff Fennick. And his opponent occupying the red corner, scaling eight stone, nine and three quarter pounds, wearing white trunks with red markings from Bangkok, Thailand, former fly, bantam and featherweight national kickboxing champion in that sphere, successful in 114 of 122 bouts, unbeaten when turning to the international rules, 14 contests, nine inside the distance, making the second defense of his world crown, meticulous representation of gladiatorial majesty, elegant equalizer, champion Samat Payakaroon. In his 34th year of officialdom, controlling his 74th world title, Clubdom's Supreme Law Enforcer from New York, the United States of America, Arthur McCanty. <laughs> Ringside judges from the Philippines, Larry Nadea. From London, England, Roland Dakin. From New York, the United States of America, Tony Castellano. World Boxing Council Supervisor, Dick Cole. Chairman of the New South Wales Boxing Authority, Terry Hartman. Ringside Physicians. Dr. Lou and Alex Lewis. Well, did you notice uh, through that introduction there how Pierre Caroon's eyes never left Jeff Fennick, the old-fashioned stare out, and he's doing it again right now. Wish you the very best of luck. I will enforce all the rules and we expect you to obey them. That's all I have to say. Shake hands now. Good luck to both of you. Wait for the sounding bell. Short and sweet. But then again, Fennec and Payak are in at this stage of their careers. Know what they're doing. And they know what it's all about. Okay. 
Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. And we're about Stay to have there. a start in the World Championship. WBC wow. Super Banner wow. World. Here we go for a big one. You can see a little feeling out in the first part of this round, I would think. Yeah, not much doubt about that. As we've already spoken to Jeff, he'll be wanting to get inside, but uh, early on he'll just have a look at the way Payakaroon's going to approach this. He's fought South Paws before, taking the title, of course, from Satoshi Shinyaki, his bantamweight title, that was, and then beating Shinyaki in his first defence. Shinyaki, a South Paw, but not in the class that we've been led to believe Samart Payakaroon is in. Fairly fast hands, but he hasn't landed anything yet. He threw a very funny left jab earlier, which was a sideway move rather than a flick it out. If he's going to continue to do that, it's going to give Jeff a very good opening for his left hook over that right-hand lead. Parker in weary of letting Jeff get inside and fight at close quarters. Jeff's still trying. Despite the crowd, that left didn't do too much damage. It was more a slap, not a scoring punch. That seemed like more of a uh, push value than hit value, that, uh, that punch from uh, Samurai. Yeah, that uh, punch from Payakaru wouldn't have uh, done too much damage, but it would have scored nonetheless. Fennec is the aggressor at the moment. Pike doing his best to stay out of the road. We've been told he's a graceful mover. Well, he's almost stumbled there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, Fennec relentless in the attack in this opening round. Another smile on the face of Pike Arun. Fennec intent on knocking it off. One minute to go in the round. Jeff swung a lot, but he hasn't managed to land too many. Parkeroon's been quick enough so far to get out of his road. Just still trying to get in close. Trying to move Parkeroon into a corner. He may have a chance now. Quickly out of that Parkeroon. Jeff very good with his evasion. Very good. Moving his head about, slipping those punches, ducking him, weaving away from him. And with 14 oh, seconds to go... He's put a count on him. And we see professional boxing history as far as Jeff Fennick is concerned. Never before has he been on the canvas, but that too did look more like a slip, but he did get a count. That's the end of round one with Fennick uh, going out for the count there. And the crowd don't like it. But push and slip. Well, I, I thought of it myself when, when Arthur McCanty said start the count. I said, no, I didn't think it was anywhere near a knockdown. But unfortunately, Jeff lost that round. According to the rules, a knockdown should count for an 8-10. And my card was a 9-10 because it wasn't a clean knockdown as far as I could see. Jeff said all along that no one was going to put him on the canvas. He's had it happen, uh, whether we think it was clear or not. But he's come out swinging. Trying to show who's boss in this second round. Parker Rune is moving well, though. Be interesting to see uh, a replay of that uh, knockdown. Oh, beautiful, Jeff. Oh, boy. Finnick is Jeff really Finnick is all over him. This is the kind of ferocious aggression that I don't think Sam Rat's going to be able to take. A big right hand there from Jeff Finnick. He has Sam out in the corner. Jeff Fennick went down in the first. We're into halfway through the second now. 145 in the second. And Jeff Fennick is playing to put one tie right up there in the sky. He'll have to keep Sam right on the back move. And when he does, he's going to do a lot of effective work. I don't think Sam right can really hurt him too much. He might even Jeff walks one. into one. Well, that left hand does look dangerous, I guess. Fennec obviously determined to wipe out the memory of that first round knockdown. Oh, 
He rifled that one in. Sam Ott put that right hand. Jeff hit him with a good shot. So, so, so far, Sam Ott Parkeroon has been quick enough to get out of the race when he's been in trouble, but he's still losing this round at this stage. Jeff working on him again, trying to keep him in this corner. Box out of it, box out of it. Notice a big scar on the right side of Sam Ott's back there. Notice that about his mid-spine. Come on, Jeff. Yeah, that was a previous wound, that one. Jeff got him in the corner again, but Parker in once again manages to withstand the pressure and move quickly. He does move well. He's going to run and jab with that right hand, try and score with that big left. Oh, a nice left hook from Jeff. Fennec, oh, right to the midsection. Yes, that was a great body blow. That shook Parker. Oh, and another right to the right right jaw, and Fennec all over it again. The bell goes and the crowd erupts at the end of round two. And a great uh, punch to the body coming up there. The right hand to the midsection was a tremendous blow. And uh, Jeff followed that one with a couple of more big combinations. Get that ice out of there. Get that ice out of there. Okay, let's go. Yes, telling uh, Parker in's corner to move the ice so no boxer will slip in that corner. And Jeff obviously stung into action. He's... Uh, Certainly trying to be the aggressor again and going to work again. <laughs> had to score the second uh, round, Gus. I had to give the second round to Jeff Fennick. It's an even fight right now. Jeff Fennick landing in there. Good left hook. He hurt the tie. Sam Ratt was hurt by that. Sam Ratt. Yeah, and Samad wants to stay away from the uh, good old-fashioned brawl because that's where Jeff Fennick will beat him. And that's, of course, what Jeff wants to do. Get, get Parker in to stop boxing and start brawling. And then the fight is Jeff Phoenix, as is the world title. But there's a long, long way to go yet. Yeah, ten more rounds. They have to slow this guy up. When he slows him up, we'll see what happens. He's dropping his guard badly already, Parker in. We noticed that uh, with the Thai fighters, that seems to be a little bit of a, a trade almost. Yeah, drop the guard and try and move the head. But, uh, oh, Phoenix got him there with a good left. And again. Fennec is all over Payakaroon, doing much better in the clinches. McCarty separates them again. Another one of the midsection from Fennec lands tellingly. Pops out of it, pops out of it. This is the part, this is where Jeff Fennec has got it over this guy. He's strong inside. He's got that, that aggression that keeps coming all the time. He's keeping the southpaw right, on the back. The Let's go. Sam Matt is in for a fight here. Yes, Jeff Fennick is all over him. Parker in won't go down easy. We're a long way from that. But the Bro, crowd is erupting. Fennick has got Parker in the corner and in a lot of trouble. I said he won't go down, but he will. Parker in desperate trouble. Left some right hands from Fennec to the body, then to the head. He's going back against the ropes. He's hitting him with everything. Thirty seconds to go in the round. We're in for an early night. If Jeff Fennec keeps us up, Parker is in all sorts of trouble. Say good night to Mark Parker. Get out of there, or you're gone, boy. Jeff has to be careful he doesn't walk into one. He's on top now, but he's still got to keep thinking. The round will be completed. There's 10 seconds to go in this round. 10 seconds to go in round three, which has been all Jeff Fennick. You'll never be able to hear the bell. It must have gone for the end of the round. Yes, it has. The referee moves in and stops it. Payakaroon can hardly stand up. That's the end of round three. <laughs> Sensational stuff as Fennec hit the Payakaroon with everything but the proverbial kitchen sink. The tie was lucky to stay on his feet. Fennec is rushing out here for the fourth. And we're back with the action. Jeff Fennec rushed over the tie's corner. It's all over. 
It's going to be all over very shortly. Samart Parkaroon is out in his feet. He's trying to protect himself, but Jeff Fennick is all over him. Jeff. This is no longer a contest. Jeff, as you said, Gus can't afford to lose his cool and think that it's no longer a contest, but from this side of the ropes, it is no longer a contest. Pyak Arun has to bring out an amazing effort to come back from this and an amazing one punch. Well, what can happen here, of course, is Jeff can come storming in and he can get hit by a desperation punch. And uh, although it looks like Pyak Arun is only going on his heart, I felt that the tremendous aggression of Jeff, and if Pyak Arun had any trouble making the weight at all, this is where it's going to show up. Right above our commentary position, Finnick is laying it into the tie boxer. How can he take this punishment? It's unbelievable. But he is a tough, tough man. He's the world champion. Yes, he doesn't want to give that belt away easy. It's a courageous performance from Pyak Arun. As we know, Jeff doesn't possess a one-punch knockout, but he does wear boxes down. He's hitting him here with enough to wear a brick wall down. I think they're going to have to watch Samat's head. Samat's getting very free with the head. But it's Fennec that's hitting very freely with the fists. See, now there's the kind of punch Fennec's got to watch out for, that desperation punch. Don't walk into one. Keep thinking. Boxing is a thinking game. Pick your shots. Ruben Oliveri used to go berserk, but in a, in a planned manner, and that's what Jeff has got to do. Right above that commentary position here. They're coming up to halfway through this round. Arthur McCanty took a good look then. Arthur's very close to uh, saving this fella, I think. Payakaroon's going to end up in our lap in a minute. Fight. Stop pulling. Stop pushing. Warning Fennec about pushing Payakaroon back towards the ropes. By the way, I made that last round a 10-8 round. Jeff Fennec winning the round by two clear points. Oh, Payakaroon just standing there and letting Fennec hit him. Well, the only thing that's getting Jeff Fennec tired is throwing pushing, punches. Another warning there to Fennec to stop pushing. He's hitting Fennec around at will now. The tie, the tie boxer is down. It's He's out. Over. He's finished. It's yeah. over. Fennec is the winner. Fennec is the world champion. Fennec around is finished. Yeah. Jeff Fennec. What a sensational finish to this fight. A tremendous knockout by Jeff Fennec. The world champion. The World Boxing Council champion in the Super Bantamweights. History here is made tonight. Yes, it's tremendous nice. aggression. This is just the most sensational finish to a fight. Fennec, remarkably, was put down for a count in the first round, although it seemed to be, to us at ringside, more of a push and a slip. But uh, referee Arthur McCandy put the count on him in the first, and from there on, Jeff Fennec went berserk. Now, he has won this fight and won it in unbelievable fashion. He has taken the world champion, Semat Payakaroon, apart. The title, the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship, belongs to Jeff Fennec. He really pounded it into uh, Payakaroon in both the second and third rounds. A very big, clear winner in the third round. And in the fourth, Payakaroon was almost helpless. Almost helpless. Fennec was hitting him at will, hitting him with everything. Only one big punch could saved it for Payakaroon, but he just could not pull it out. Let's hear the announcement from Ray Connolly. In two minutes, 42 seconds of the fourth round, the winner, now World Boxing Council, Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Jeff Fennick. What a sight there, Gary. Oh, that sight. is unbelievable, Gus. Quite a sight. Now, every other super bantamweight in the world better tell him, take a look at this guy because uh, he's very strong. And if he continues to grow and goes up the featherweight, wow. Unbelievable scenes in the ring there. Arthur McCandy, the referee, holding Fennec's hand up. Payak Arun, by the way, is back on his feet. They were looking very concerned about him there for a while. He's being assisted to his corner. He can hardly stand up, Payak Arun. He has taken such an unbelievable pounding there in the last three and a half rounds from Jeff Fennec. And uh, the tie, well, he was literally out on his feet. He slumped to the canvas in submission, and it was all over. There was no way he was going to get up again.
But the people that in his home country can have a lot of pride in him, too, because he gave them everything he had, Gary. This fight, of course, uh, going live to Thailand, I guess they can hardly believe it uh, because he's been a great champion for, uh, for the Thai people, and uh, he's a great fighter still. But tonight he has just run up against a demon, a demon in the shape of Jeff Finnick. And again, what great benefit it's been for Finnick to move up this weight division, to put on that extra four pounds, to go to the super band and weight level, to weigh in at eight stone 10, because he's just got stronger, he's got tougher, he's got quicker, and he had it all over. Samart Payakaroon, Jeff Finnick is at center ring now. We're gonna to go to him in just a moment. As soon as he can regain an ounce of breath, and he has right now, he's with John Harker. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've been privileged here tonight to watch one of the greatest exhibitions in Australian boxing history, and certainly Australian boxing history, Jeff Fennick, the first Australian to win two world titles. Let's hear it for Jeff Fennick. I love yous all! I love yous! Jeff, I know you must be absolutely beside yourself at the moment, but did you think that you would put him away inside of four rounds? Well, Johnny and I talked, and... You know, Johnny thought my strength, and if I can cut him off early, we knew he had plenty of power, and I've got to admit he really has. Um, you know, with uh, 12,000 of the most beautifulest people in the world cheering me on. And all the people at home, it's very, very hard to feel pain. So, you know, I just put the pain aside. I know why you've paid in. He's all paid here to see me win. And there was no way in the world I'd ever let you down. I promise you that. Thank you all very much. Jeffrey, what was the feeling like in the first round? It looked to us outside the ring as more of a slip, but what was the feeling like knowing that you were getting given a count for the first time in your professional career? <laughs> well, John, like I said, I was trying to take the fight up and I jumped up with two hands and with two feet in the ground. He hit me with a, uh, a straight little right jab, but it didn't hurt me at all. But I was in the air and, you know, I'm sure I'll learn from that. I won't jump in the air anymore and he knocked me down, you know. It was a score and punch and, you know, but he never hurt me at all. That support from this fantastic crowd here must have helped you get straight back to your feet though, Jeff. Oh, yeah, that's what I said, John. You know, people ask me how I motivate myself and all I have to do is walk out here and see you all here cheering for me. I don't need no motivation at all. I'm a proud Australian. And you people here motivate me. And of course, Jeff, the other man that motivates you and the man you love more than any other, of Johnny Lewis, your trainer, standing here with you, Johnny, how do you feel? Uh, John, I just knew this kid was the greatest we've ever had here. He's never let any of us down. I just hope that the Australian public, the way they've got behind Jeff, let's get behind every sportsman in the country and let's show them that this is the greatest nation in the world. Thank you. Well, there we have it from ringside. Jeff Fennick, as we've said, winning a second world title. And from here, let's hope that Jeff goes on for number three. John Harker there in centre ring with Jeff Finnick and uh, Johnny Lewis. And boy, don't this crowd uh, just love Jeff Finnick. As he described the audience here at ringside tonight, 12,000 of the most beautifulest people. Well, I reckon he'd apply that term to uh, all the viewers on the Seven Network around Australia tonight who've uh, tuned into our telecast to see Jeff Finnick become the World Boxing Council's super bantamweight champion. We'll be back here ringside at the Sydney Entertainment Centre after this break. But, uh, well, he was just gone. I said earlier in the round it was no contest. He was just taking punishment. A right, uh, two rights. A right catching him going down. Tremendous punches, tremendous strength. So much power this guy has. Look at him. Tremendous power. Jeff Fennick, a very powerful fight. He did look to the referee, saying, what's happening here, pal? How long do I have to go on with this? And the big punch coming in now, and another one to help him on the way. Well, that's the way the fight finished at 2 minutes 42 seconds into the fourth round. But, of course, it took a little bit of setting up to get to that point. Let's replay for you in its entirety. We'll pick it up just a couple of seconds after the start. The final round of this fight. From this side of the ropes, it is no longer a contest. Payakaroon has to bring out an amazing effort to come back from this and an amazing one punch. Well, what can happen here, of course, is Jeff can come storming in and he can get hit by a desperation punch. And uh, although it looks like Payakaroon is only going on his heart, I felt that the tremendous aggression of Jeff, and if Perak had any trouble making the weight at all, this is where it's going to show up. 
right above our commentary position. Finnick is laying it into the tie boxer. How can he take this punishment? It's unbelievable. But he is a tough, tough man. He's the world champion. Yes, he doesn't want to give that belt away easy. It's a courageous performance from Pai Karun. As we know, Jeff doesn't possess a one-punch knockout, but he does wear boxers down. He's hitting him here with enough to wear a brick wall down. I think they're going to have to watch Samat's head. Samat's getting very free with the head. But it's Fennec that's hitting very freely with the fists. See, now there's the kind of punch fennec has got to watch out for, that desperation punch. Don't walk into one. Keep thinking. Boxing is a thinking game. Pick your shots. Ruben Oliveri's used to go berserk, but in a, in a planned manner, and that's what Jeff has got to do. Right above that commentary position here. They're coming up to halfway through this round. Arthur McCanty took a good look then. Arthur's very close to uh, saving this fella, I think. Payakaroon's going to end up in our lap in a minute. Wait. Stop. Oh. Stop. Pushing. Warning Fennec about pushing Payakaroon back towards the ropes. By the way, I made that last round a 10-8 round. Jeff Fennick winning the round by two clear points. Oh, Payaka Runes is standing there and letting Fennick hit him. And the only thing that's getting Jeff Fennick tired stop is throwing pushing, punches. Another warning there to Fennick to stop pushing. He's hitting Payaka Rune at will now. The tire. Goodness gracious me, that's the way it ended up, and uh, Jeff Finnick now is the world champion. We'll be back at the Entertainment Center to wrap up after this.